we're now able to provide information to the pin that we want to create within the create pin form and we can also with the discard button discard any draft pins that we've set on the map. Now we want to take care of how we're going to upload our photos. We're going to do so with the help of a service called Cloudinary. It's going to take care of the image upload from the client and we'll use the Cloudinary API to send Cloudinary an image and it'll send back to us a processed URL that we can store in our database. So to get started with Cloudinary, you can go to cloudinary.com and it's totally free to use Cloudinary. You'll just select sign up for free and from there you'll provide your name, email, and password. And at the bottom you'll be given an assigned cloud name. I would recommend editing it that's just going to be set to some random name or string. So I'd recommend setting it to something that you can remember. We'll need to use this value later. And then you'll select create account. And you can close out of the pop-up that comes up. You will need to verify your email before you can start using Cloudinary. So I'd recommend taking care of that right now. And once that's done, we'll want to go up to the Settings tab and then go to Upload. Then we'll scroll down and we'll select Enable Unsigned Uploading. It's going to create for us what's known as an upload preset. And I'd recommend changing the name to the name of our project, so we'll select Edit here, and I'll change mine to GeoPins. And once you've updated the name, you can hit Save, and then Save again. And in order to use the Cloudinary API, in order to upload an image, we'll head back to our Create Pin component. We'll create a new function called Handle Image Upload. This is going to be an async function because we're going to be making a request to the Cloudinary API here. And the first step will be to create some form data. So we can say new form data. And we're going to store this in a variable called data. So this form data is going to hold on to a bunch of information about the file that we want to upload and information about uploading to Cloudinary. So the first thing that we need to do when uploading an image is take the form data and we can use the append method off of it and we want to append a file which will be what we have stored in image in state. Then we also need to append the upload underscore preset and that's going to be what we named geopins that's what Cloudinary created for us when we enabled unsigned uploading. Then we can say data.append and we need to provide our cloud name. That was the name I mentioned that we edited when we registered, when we created an account with Cloudinary. So I'll add mine. And then we need a HTTP client library to make this request. For this we'll import Axios from Axios. So we'll need to make a POST request with Axios, so we can await axios.post. And the endpoint that we'll be making a request to will be https api.cloudinary.com slash v1 underscore one, and then our cloud name, so we can just copy that, slash image slash upload. Then we'll add a comma and provide our data, our form data. We're going to get back from this request a response, a response object, and our URL is going to come from res.data.url. So to test this out, when we execute handle submit, we will await handle image upload. and we need to make handle submit an async function. And we'll get back from handle image upload a URL, and we can just put it within the object 
that were console login. Now let's save create pin and on our map let's select a new area and we'll provide just any title and content select an image hit submit and take a look in our console and if this worked correctly we should get a URL back from Cloudinary where if we paste this URL in the browser we should see our uploaded image and note the fact that if you're interested in diving deeper in working with Cloudinary there's also a lot of media transformations you can look into when it comes to changing the size of the image that's uploaded adding some filters to it I'd really recommend you check that out and to make some changes for the transformations for the file that were for the images that we're currently uploading you can just head to settings upload and then you can go to your upload presets hit edit and then you can get into the upload manipulations tab and explore a lot of the options that Cloudinary makes available to you.